Uh, do you ever wonder why certain characters in literature or film seem oddly familiar, uh, even if you're meeting them for the first time? Uh, it's all thanks to the magic of something called yeah, archetypes. There we go. And these archetypes can occur in myths, stories, folktales and legends again and again. Archetypes are things that are woven deep into the tapestry of storytelling. And at its core, an archetype is a, as it says there, a universal symbol or pattern that recurs through literature and art and myths from various cultures around the world. Uh, in the realm of characters, an archetype represents uh, a set of traits, behaviours and roles uh, that that character embodies. Uh, they might have different names, backgrounds or challenges, but their fundamental nature remains consistent and they represent shared universal human experiences, feelings and experiences, things we all uh, feel that echo with readers and viewers on a deep kind of um, I don't know, instinctive uh, level, I guess, inside of us. Um, I'm going to show you uh, a few here. There, there are quite a lot of them. Um, obviously, people are a mixture, depending on where they are in life and how we feel, of probably a lot of these at various times. But I'm going to show you uh, just a few uh, and uh, see if you can recognize any of these archetypes, uh, figures from film, uh, from books you've read, uh, from plays you might have seen, and anything else. So first up, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look. So first up is The Orphan. Now, the orphan is a, is a very common character in a lot of films and a lot of stories. Um, and it represents the sort of universal human search we all have for belonging uh, to something, uh, to find your own place in the world. And it doesn't matter if you're a child or an adult. I think that never kind of leaves you. You're always trying to find out where you are as you deal with different stages of, of life. Um, can you think of any, any orphan characters? Um, how about um, Cinderella, uh, Harry Potter, Oliver Twist? Uh, there's loads of them. Uh, next up, another uh, character archetype you may recognize is the mentor uh, figure. Uh, this figure, usually an older figure that provides guidance, wisdom and training to the hero, to the main person in the story, uh, often preparing them for challenges ahead. Um, who can you think of that are sort of older hero, uh, sort of older sort of mentor figures? Um, what about, say, uh, Gandalf in The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings? or Obi-Wan Kenobi, Star Wars, or Dumbledore, Harry Potter. Again, lots of these as well. And next up we have the damsel, the damsel. Uh, traditionally, the damsel in distress is, is, is someone in need of rescue um, and represents a sense of vulnerability and, and uh, purity, I guess. Um, in modern narratives, the damsel can also take control of her own destiny. Uh, so think of, uh, say, Princess Peach from Super Mario. You've got Rapunzel. Uh, you've got Elizabeth Swan from Pirates of the Caribbean, all these different uh, kind of characters. Um, uh, we've got a couple more of these, and then we're going to uh, speak more to our authors. I've got a little video for you as well. I'd like to show you as well. Um, the magician character. Uh, the magician, magician embodies a sense of wonder, the master of transformation, using knowledge or supernatural powers to alter realities and perceptions. Think of like Merlin, you know, Merlin from all the uh, King Arthur stories. You've got Doctor Strange from the Marvel Universe. You've got the White Witch. Uh, the Chronicles of Narnia. Uh, a couple more. Uh, the villain. Dun, dun, dun. We all know the villain. Represents the dark side often of the actual hero, the, the antagonist, the main character in the story. Uh, often opposes the hero's own journey. They embody kind of malevolence and deceit and an urge to thwart good. Uh, we all know many villains from stories and myths and probably all have a favourite, but obviously some of mine would probably be Sauron, Lord of the Rings, um, uh, Voldemort, of course, Count Olaf from a series of sort of fortunate events. And, and finally, there are many more of these. We have, of course, the hero. Uh, the hero is often the main char character of a story and represents courage, determination, and moral night righteousness. Think King Arthur, uh, Luke Skywalker, Harry Potter again. Now, all these, um, these archetypes can be powerful uh, tools uh, in storytelling, uh, provide a foundation on which to build more complex and memorable characters. So they're just sort of foundations.